What's up guys, Dr. Greg here back with another episode of Braces Explained. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today, what we're going to be talking about is the difference between molar bands, which are the rings on your back teeth, and molar tubes, which are the little brackets on the back teeth. So let's go. So I think the best way of describing the difference between a band and a bracket is by getting a closer look of what each one looks like. So first, let's take a look at bands. So this is what a band looks like. What it is is a ring that goes around your molars that has the top part open so the chewing surface is not covered up by this band. So if you guys remember from my previous video about spacers, to get these bands on, we have to make space between the back teeth. And oftentimes, the way we do that is by using spacers to make a little gap between the front and the back side of a molar so that there's room for these bands to be placed. Now, these bands come in many different sizes and like the widths and different configurations. So some of them have one hole for the wire, some have two, some have attachments for headgear. So for this example of a band, we can see that there's a hook in case you need to run elastics and two slots for wires, one for the main wire and one if we need an accessory wire. Here's another example of a band that has a larger tube. And this tube is used for a potential headgear or a lip bumper. Sometimes in orthodontics, we need to run power chains or elastics from the tongue side. So in some bands, we have cleats like can be seen here where these can attach to. So what your orthodontist will do is try on different sized bands to see which one fits the most snugly around each tooth so that it doesn't come off so easily. Once we find the right size band for the tooth, what we'll use is some sort of a cement to make sure that that band stays in place while we're doing our orthodontic tooth movement. Like I said, there's a bunch of different circumferences, so these can come in different shapes, so it may take your orthodontist or the assistant several tries to get the right size that fits perfectly for your tooth. Many of these bands come with different configurations because sometimes your orthodontist might need to run two wires, which I'll talk about in another video, which is called a piggyback wire. Also, some on the upper will have slots for headgear or lip bumpers on the lower, which we can discuss in future videos as well. If your orthodontist ever needs to make an appliance, let's say a lingual arch or a TPA or an expander like we've talked about in past videos and we'll talk about in future videos, we need to use bands on your back teeth because the way we build these appliances is that we solder them to the bands, which is basically creating a connection between the wire and the band we won't be able to build these appliances though if we have brackets on the back teeth. And a little fun fact, before we had these braces that went on the, each tooth, back in the day, there used to be bands on every single tooth. So you can imagine, that's when braces used to be a lot, lot more noticeable because it was basically, you could hardly see any tooth since every tooth was fully covered in a band. So next, that brings us to what are brackets or molar tubes. So this is what a molar tube looks like. There's a hook where elastics can be attached and a slot where the wire can run through. Also, there's a mesh pad to help it stay on. So molar tubes are just like brackets for the front teeth, but they're placed on your molars. And the way these work is just like every other bracket. We prepare the tooth surface and add a little bit of composite, which is the glue that attaches the bracket to the tooth. So here you can see me adding the composite to the back of the bracket, smearing it on so it really gets into the bracket and attaching it to a tooth. Once we adjust it for the correct position, we'll use the blue light to make sure it hardens, and then it'll look just like this with the wire placed in. Most of the time, these brackets only have one slot for the main arch wire, so it's a little bit harder to do piggyback arch wires with these. Also, if we need to apply any forces to the tongue side of the tooth, we're gonna have to add something different since these don't have those cleats or buttons. And what we can do is actually add another bracket or a button on the tongue side of your teeth which I'll show in a future video. So next, let's discuss hygiene. With brackets and molar tubes, it's a lot easier to clean the back teeth because these are attached to only one small portion of the tooth, which will allow you to floss easily and brush the tongue side of your tooth. Whereas with bands, these areas of the tooth are often covered up and harder to clean. Also with bands, 
you have to get spacers first because as we discussed in a previous video about spacers, we have to make space on the front side and the back side of these molars so that these bands can be fit comfortably and not forced between the contacts. So this means if your orthodontist uses brackets on the posterior or the back teeth, you won't need spacers to make room between the teeth since the bracket is attached only on the cheek side of the tooth. But on the flip side, these bands are a lot more durable, meaning that they don't break as easily. Since brackets are attached in only one small portion of the tooth, it's a lot easier to dislodge these by bite forces as well as eating foods that you should avoid. So with bands, it's a lot easier for them to stay on the tooth since they're attached all around the tooth as opposed to just one part of the tooth. And those are pretty much the main differences between molar tubes and brackets versus bands. Let me know in the comments below which one you have on your back teeth, molar tubes or bands, or maybe you have a combination of both. Let me know below. Again, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments section and I will get to them as soon as I can. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you guys can stay up to date with all this content. That's all I have for you guys today. For now, Dr. Greg, 